be pursuing matters that are, that are before the court, and that's why I ruled that way. And that brings to a close questions for oral answer. Honourable Members, Chief Tachi, order. I have received a letter from Andrew Little seeking to debate understanding order 386, the government's reaction to the determination by police on a complaint made by ACC about a meeting between Ms. Bronwyn Puller, Ms. Michelle Bowe, and ACC officials on 1 December 2011, and the ongoing privacy issues that have been highlighted. A debate on the release by the ACC of private details of ACC clients was held on 20 March 2012. For there to be a case of recent occurrence, there must be either a new situation of importance or a new development in an existing situation of sufficient importance to warrant, in this instance, a further debate being held. Resignation. The determination by the police that no offence has been committed does not contain any substantive change that requires the immediate attention of this House. The urgent debate procedure is a means of holding the government to account for matters that have actually occurred. It is not a means of exploring whether the Minister has confidence in the ACC's and the ACC Chair and the Board. There are other parliamentary opportunities for raising such matters. The application is therefore declined. Uh, point of order, the Honourable David Parker. Uh, did the Speaker give consideration to the fact that one of the reasons why questions could not be answered during the earlier stages of that inquiry was that there was a police inquiry? Therefore, the lifting of a police inquiry, I wonder whether the Speaker took that into account when considering whether it was a case of recent occurrence. Well, I accept the member's point raised in good faith. Uh, the, uh, in fact, there was a, an earlier debate was allowed, and, uh, and, and so the House already debated this matter once. And so the issue is: has there been a further? Has there been a particular case of recent occurrence that warrants the setting aside of the House's business? And it's my ruling that on this occasion there hasn't been a, a further particular case of recent occurrence. The police is an independent body; uh, they've made a, a decision, and. and uh, and so it is, in my view, something that is not of sufficient uh, magnitude to set aside, to, to qualify as a particular case of recent occurrence and need the business of the House to be set aside. I've also received a letter from the Honourable Nanai Mahuta seeking to debate on the Order 386, the Government's decision to reverse budget changes to teacher pupil funding ratios. This is a case of recent occurrence involving ministerial responsibility. However, not every ministerial announcement will give sufficient grounds for an urgent debate to be held. As, a, as the member's application acknowledges, the changes to teacher pupil ratios were a budget initiative, and the House is still debating the budget. In these circumstances, I'm not persuaded that the setting aside of the House's business for an urgent debate today can be justified. This application is just I uh, call on the government order of the day number one.